As soon as someone clicks on your YouTube video, you have to hook them in, and most successful YouTubers are doing this. Watch how YouTube creators Khan and Samir start off this YouTube video. Why is it that KSI can do so many things successfully? Most people would probably assume with an audience as big as his, he can try whatever he wants and it'll be successful. But we don't think that's true. Really, why? <laughs> Notice though how they don't do this. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we get into this camera tutorial, which is the reason you clicked on this video, let's go make some coffee. Mm. The first few seconds of your video might matter more than any other part of your video. This is where most of your viewers are gonna make that important decision to keep watching or if they should just jump ship. <laughs> And nowadays on YouTube, when you're looking at a thumbnail long enough, the beginning of the video actually starts playing and people can see what the beginning of your video looks like. And then this is a great time to also showcase what's coming up in the video. We spend the past couple of weeks watching his videos, speaking with his fans, and even interviewing people who work directly with KSI. That's actually a tough question. He's a magician. And we did all of this in order to learn the secret to KSI's success. That right there is how you start off a YouTube video. And most YouTubers are not doing this, which is mistake number one. And these next eight mistakes are just as important if you want to succeed on YouTube. And that's why we'll be studying these successful YouTubers and stealing their best secrets, like Dude Perfect. Watch how he starts off this video and avoids mistake number one by getting right into it. This is the long bomb. Here we go, Spark. Oh, yeah. Literally four seconds into this video, he already delivered on the promise of giving you these trick shots. But watch the next few seconds of this video and see if you can catch mistake number two that they avoid. Yes! Welcome to Cup Trick Shots, here we go! Dude, perfect. Did you catch it there? They avoided a long intro. Though they popped up their logo, it was very, very quick and this avoids the viewer from skipping forward in the video. Mistake number three, you might be doing this, but Leon Hendricks sure isn't. Take a listen to the different types of music he uses throughout this video. Navy SEALs, the toughest human beings on the planet. My friend, Matt, not the toughest human being on the planet. Ready? One. Stand up. You're capable of 20 times more than you even thought you were. These are earned, not given. You can see that Leon is adding different types of music for different parts of his video, but he's not just adding music for the sake of adding background music. What he's doing is he's adding emotion to his video through different music choices. Adding emotion through music is one of the easiest and most powerful storytelling techniques that you can start doing in your videos. When adding music into your YouTube videos, you wanna make sure that this music is licensed and that's why we love using epidemicsound.com. One of the things that I love to do with our videos at Think Media is go to epidemicsound.com and then I go to the moods and I try to find the right emotion that matches the video and then I click on that mood and I start listening to those music tracks in that playlist. And this is a super easy way to quickly get music that actually matches the emotion and enhances the emotion in your YouTube video. But there's another huge mistake that I see a lot of people doing when it comes to adding music and editing the audio in their videos. Let me explain. Take a listen to the music in this video and notice how smooth it goes with the video. My network of collectors has become quite large and after a few phone calls, I found one. So you found it. He wants one, two, five. One million, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Here the music ends at the perfect time, right? As Logan is about to give his answer if he's going to buy this super expensive Pokemon card. A lot of people just like to use the beginning of the song, but at the very end of the song, usually there is a nice ending and it's very smooth. And using that part of the song in your video is a great way to make those smooth audio transitions happen very naturally. Now this video was edited by Hillier Smith and he actually does a complete breakdown of this video on his YouTube channel that you should definitely go and check out. Because as a YouTuber, and YouTube editor, you have to keep leveling up your skills and learn from experienced people like Hillier Smith, but a lot of you probably won't do this, and that is mistake number five. Now, one of the most iconic YouTubers of our time, a Hall of Fame YouTuber, is Mr. Beast. One of the things that he is really, really good at is making his videos visually engaging. So let's take a look at Mr. Beast Reacts. Now, before we watch this, a beginner YouTube editor might take a look at this and think that there isn't a big opportunity to make this visually engaging, because really all 
it is, is Mr. Beast and a friend with one camera set up in a room just standing there reacting to a video. But luckily Mr. Beast works with some really, really good video editors and they know how to make these visually engaging. Let's check this out. I paid someone to give us a list of the most unusual places on the planet. And on the list is this place with no gravity. What? And this underwater city and this tree where goats live in it. These places are unbelievable. Now you can see how much editing went into those first 10 seconds. Now your videos don't have to be this crazily edited. Sometimes it's just as simple as using some stock footage for B-roll or using some text or photos to make it more visually engaging. Mistake number seven is slow pacing. In this video by Ryan NG Films, who's just such an incredible storyteller and editor, his pacing is on point with this video. Now you probably should watch the entire video to see all of the amazing editing that he does in it, but we are gonna choose a specific moment where he calls a friend and is asking this person for advice. Yo. Meet Kevin, a YouTuber, entertainer, and established freelance videographer. I figured if anyone would give me advice on how to get started, it would be him. Now the amazing thing that Ryan did in this video was intercutting between the advice that this guy was giving him and then him in the future actually doing the thing that he's talking about. I actually cut up like a sizzle reel. A sizzle reel is like, you know, maybe a minute and a half. Now he could have just told the story linearly, but he decides to jump into the future and then cut back to the interview and then jump into the future of him doing it and jump back into the interview. And this helped so much with the pacing to actually make this video so much more interesting to watch. This also condensed the video rather than if he told this linearly, it would have took a lot longer to get everything across. Because the thing that you really need to focus on is making better videos, not longer videos. And most beginners get that backwards. Okay, let's take a look at another YouTube legend, Casey Neistat. He utilizes a very simple editing trick that you need to learn how to do because you'll probably end up using it a lot. The whole con film festival. Look at all these ladders. All these ladders are for photographers because Right there, I don't know if you caught it, but Casey Neistat is utilizing J and L cuts. A J cut or an L cut is when you detach the audio and then it overlays between the clip before or the clip after. And if you missed it, Casey does it again right here. My career and all of that, but also, but I'm also hung up on this idea that like, you can see that he did this again, where the audio actually starts in the previous clip and it really just makes it a lot of a smoother transition from one clip to the next. And mistake number nine, you have to get this right if you want your your retention graph to look like this and not like this. And this is actually gonna help you get a lot more views on YouTube. And that mistake that you're doing is that you're ending your videos way too slowly. If you click on the screen, I show you exactly how to do this the right way so that you can start getting more views on your YouTube videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.